All right, so right now we're looking at Philippe. Philippe's offshore, uh, and here's the latest track on Philippe as of 5 a.m., moving north-northeast at 18 miles an hour. And you can see here's the storm track cone for the National Hurricane Center. It's expected to make landfall late Saturday night, Sunday morning as a subtropical storm. What does that mean? Well, it's an unorganized, less tropical storm, uh, so it's uh, got some tropical moisture to it, but really kind of a general run-of-the-mill coastal storm that we have uh, this time of year. So what we're seeing is there will be some winds that get up to over 40 miles an hour. That's primarily Penobscot Bay East. It still will be quite the breezy day on Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday. But you can see as we go through today, a couple of showers, especially during the evening hours. Tomorrow, the moisture from Philippe gets in here in the morning. And you'll have rain throughout the day. And then as we head toward the evening hours, you can see there's the cold front rain mixed with the tropical moisture. And then here's Philippe moving toward down east and mid coast areas overnight, Saturday into Sunday. And then quickly by 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning getting out of here, we get sunshine by Sunday. So excessive rainfall shows that it's Saturday where we have that slight risk for uh, some fl uh, flash flooding. But you can see our impact weather is Saturday, Saturday night for rainy and breezy conditions. I have rain on Sunday it's primarily in the morning. It should get sunny and quite windy Sunday. And then Monday looks much better, more fall like at 60 degrees with partly sunny skies.